That is just absolute squid porn right there. All right, guys, you keep telling us that there's an amazing naked bike underneath this Z900 RS. We kind of feel like this is a bit of a cruisery type of motorcycle. So what did we do to this bike, Spike? Well, obviously we did the first thing anybody would do and that's remove this giant boat anchor of an exhaust off here. This thing's like 25 pounds and we got that nice full system on there from Leo Vinci. Yeah, thanks Leo for supplying us with that nice full pipe. Uh, and uh, I think the install went pretty well, but I think we could show the boys a montage. Yeah, it's time for a montage. So sometimes you gotta reach into really hard to reach spots, and uh, that's why it's nice to have what we call the patented wiggle stick. Um, I definitely didn't just tree two extenders and an embigonator on here to get this to fit. That's not what happened. Oh, f Can you hold this here for a second? Yeah. Yeah, dude, just, just give me one second, okay? When in doubt, get a bigger wrench. Got it. Oh so neat to have a situation where you have so many exhausts up there, you actually have to pick and choose which one you put on. I actually had to like, you know, make sure I had the right model and stuff. There's a whole bunch of Z900 exhausts up there. All right, what do we got? Looks like we're gonna go four, two, one, which will be nice. Yep, four, two to one. So these are gonna need to be assembled on the bike. That always takes a little bit of doing, but. Oh, and then we have a thousand springs. It's my favorite part. Let's see what the Leo Vinci directions say. Uh, it says, go home loser if you don't know what you're doing. Now let's see what the actual exhaust can looks like for this. Oh yeah, okay. So we have the LV10 stainless steel exhaust. This is gonna be quite nice to put on the bike. And I think, nope, no link pipe. We're just going right onto the headers. So there's our mounting equipment, cool. Get it on the bike. Whatever, it came in the bag. All right, headers are on the motorcycle for the most part. Um, I don't like the way that these Z900 pipes are laid out. I don't like them stock and I don't love them on an aftermarket pipe. It's just the like angles that all the pipes are going. Um, the prettiest inline four exhaust system that I've ever seen, CBR 650R. Um, very, very good looking set of pipes on that bike. And uh, I would imagine probably the 1000 as well. Um, these with all the different like bits and bobs, they're kind of a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. Just like that, all the headers are done. Time to slap L pipe onto L bike and call it L bay. Alrighty guys, so we have the exhaust on here now. It is looking pretty sharp on there and I actually like how we retained this cover here to cover up all the link pipes and stuff. Um, it's looking pretty darn flashy and it has that same sort of vibe as the original one. Now, let's see what it sounds like. Oh, you wanna do the honors? Yeah, let's see what it's all about. That's mean. 
a lot bassier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go disturb the beast. So we've done the squid thing. We've put on a full system. We've not flashed a thing or done anything to it yet. It'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. But uh, I think we just got to go see how it rides now, Spike. Yeah, let's do it. All right, folks. Out on the road with the Z900 with the full Leo Vinci exhaust. Spike, we've, I think we've unlocked the Kawasaki Kyle energy on this thing. It's pretty, pretty rowdy. How's it, is it feeling more alive, more special? Oh, yeah. Let's take another listen. Drop the property values on this gated community a little bit. <laughs> it does That's... sound like it's gurgling a little on the low end, but we'll yeah. get it tuned. Yeah, we got to get it flashed because it's, it's a little wonky, but for a quick little ride, it's fine. Let's go enjoy. <laughs> Let's listen to it on the pipe a little bit. From behind, it definitely has that more classic inline four sound now, for sure. Yeah. Um, it sounds a little bit to me like for when I'm sitting behind you. It sounds a little bit like a uh, 600 that's sort of in like the middle of the RPM band. Yeah. Literally that, you know, super classic inline four note. Yeah, it has that kind of mass produced, it's like big inline four sound. It has added so much to the riding experience though. I mean, we often tell you guys on the channel that putting a simple little pipe on your bike can really amplify your ride and you can hear more of your engine. It is literally night and day with this thing of how it used to be. It was a sewing machine before. <laughs> yeah, before it, you didn't feel anything. You didn't get any feedback from the bike. It was just like, you know, you need to, you need to be like monitoring the front end, see what it's doing. Yeah. It was just this buttery, smooth, quiet cruiser thing. And now, now I think I understand the people who told us like, oh no, that's like a really rowdy naked bike. Like, yeah, I, I kind of get it. It's definitely not MT levels of rowdy. I think the Yamaha still have it beat, but I think for being like this cool retro looking cruiser thing, it sounds really cool now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you could ask for a more classic inline four sound. Yeah, and, and given that it only redlines at around 10,000, it is, you know, I'm always kind of in the meat of it, which is really fun. Do you feel more, like, torque and power out of it in the mid-range? I mean, my butt dyno says so. It, it feels faster and, and zestier, but I don't know. Like, I, I know that just flapping on a full pipe isn't going to, like, just instantly unlock, you know, 10 extra torque. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'd like to believe that it's a little faster, but... I don't know, the, the auditory experience makes me feel like I'm going really fast, so that, I guess that's really all that matters, you know? <laughs> Does it matter mm -hmm. how fast I'm going on the street bike? Yeah, the big benefit to this, like, it's a 948cc engine, so the big benefit is you don't feel like you need to downshift much. Like, I'm in fourth gear at about three and a half thousand, and it moves pretty good. It doesn't really have a lot of lag, and you gotta wait to the top end power and all that. It's nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice. A lot of times when you do swap out a pipe and you don't have any more back pressure, you do lose that torque. It all becomes about high-end power. So it's nice that even without the tune, it's still, you know, rideable in the mid-range. Yeah. Let's see as we flip it down the gears. All those pops and crackles. That's nice. Yeah. God, I, I, I can't, I mean, it's not related to the video topic, but I don't want an electric bike ever. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound, man. I love a real motorcycle sound. It's great. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hard to beat that inline four note. You, you, it's why people love it so much and they keep coming back to it, you know? Yeah. Well, I have waxed poetic about it enough. Let's have you swing a leg and you let me know if it feels any different because I think it feels really different. Sweet. Yeah, let's give it a shot. That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Yeah. It's just total squid porn, you know? Man, just even that little bit, I do feel like there's there's something more going on on this motorcycle. That's cool. Yeah. It unlocked something. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not all of a sudden an MT-09, right? 
Yeah. It's not like, holy cow, oh, it's doing power wheelies all over the place, but... Yeah. It does, it does feel more like the sort of naked bike that you want it to be, you know? That sort of just torque first, happy, comfortable thing. Yeah. It's crazy because all it is is just a pipe, but it really unlocked that kind of nature of it that was inside of it all along, which is really cool. Yeah. How do you feel about the sound as you're riding it now? So that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a spot, because, you know, obviously when you're on the boil, right, it gets pretty loud. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a spot, because cruising at about 5,000 RPM, it's angry. Let's go up to fifth gear, go down to 3,500. 3,500 is actually kind of nice. It's not super loud. You know, I'm hearing it drone away, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't stand this. I've ruined the motorcycle, you know? Yeah. I will say at highway speeds, when it's closer to like 4,500 RPM or so, it is a little droney, but it is a completely full unbaffled system. So that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it is worth pointing out guys, that if you are going to go for a full system exhaust, you are all of a sudden that guy. Yeah. There's no way to avoid it. <laughs> now let's, I'm going to let that truck get ahead a little bit so that I can open it up across yeah. the bridge. Got to ping it off that wall. All right, here we go. This is the fun part. <laughs> that is just absolute squid porn right there. Classic sound. Yeah, that is that is just so much fun. How could you not love that sound? Yeah. Like, even if it's not your most preferred motorcycle sound, it's so awesome. It's the classic yeah. thing, you know? Does it bring back energy of your Hornet? Oh, man, that's tough to say. Um, it's been a minute since I've ridden the Hornet. Uh, I would say it's got a lot of that energy because it's it's making a lot of noise right for sure yeah. it's making a lot of noise and it's not going super fast so that's pretty indicative of the hornet uh but it also it still has that sort of mass produced feel about it um i'd have to ride them back to back to really be able to say but it's definitely a lot closer now than it was before well, I think it was a fantastic upgrade to that bike. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. This thing is... Well worth like, it. Yeah. It is It is a must-do mod for sure. And I wouldn't I wouldn't go with a slip-on. I would go with the full system because the bread box is going to be too... Corked up. Yeah. It's got so much base. That's what I yeah. like about it. That big inline four, it's got base to it. I also like how the system provided a little bit of uh, hangers for the original chrome case. For yeah. It. it just looks pretty cool, you know? Yeah, it Still actually really fits that, the bike. Yeah, it's retaining that classic vibe. Yeah, yeah, and as those pipes become gold, as the exhaust goes through them, it's going to look even better. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, big shout out to Leo for sending us over the pipe. You guys go and check him out down below. That was pretty awesome. And uh, stay tuned because we got a fun video coming with this and the Hornet. We're going to take them back to back again and see if now the Z900 is truly the modern day Hornet that you can go and buy. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Remember, this is our giveaway Z900 RS. Click links down below to shop.amy.co. Check out how you can get entered to win it. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Before I do... <laughs> 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 Gotta do it to him. That's fun. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below about how much you hated it as well, too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.